hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am off to the boot sale today. It is Sunday morning. I've made myself a coffee and I thought I would bring you to the boot sale with me. We'll have a little browse and then if I pick up any bits, I will show you everything that I've got at the end of the video. So yeah, I've just made myself a coffee. I've got my boot sale mug on the go actually. This is the Emma Bridgewater one that I picked up a couple of weeks ago for the bargain price of one pound. And I've made one of the Starbucks sachets in here. I picked them up at a place called, I think it's Sam's Pound, but I keep forgetting what that place is called. And they've got the boxes of them for £1.25, which is really good. And they've got the cappuccinos, the lattes, and they've got toppy nut latte, like a festive edition as well. I think it's because they're nearing the end of their best before. So I think the best before is this autumn, but they're still in date and they're delicious. So I'm gonna have a quick sip of my coffee and then we'll head out. I'm wearing my shirt that I got from Vinted, the one that came as part of a bundle, and it is a lovely day outside. It looks like it's going to be a glorious day today, which is fantastic because this evening I'm off to Battersea Park to go to the Battersea concerts in the park. Tonight it's the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra proms in the park, so really looking forward to that. I really like outdoor music and outdoor events. I love outdoor cinema and yeah hopefully um the weather will stay nice for the car boot sale this morning there is a bit of rain forecast today but hopefully it will just be a passing shower and in terms of things that i'm looking for i haven't got anything really particularly in mind but you know we'll see you know i'm starting to look at maybe things for autumn christmas that sort of thing so let's just see how we go so i think i'm gonna head out grab a bit of breakfast and then we will get down to the car boot cell as soon as it opens i want to get there bright and early today and see what we can find let's go
no sign of the clown today, but there's a coffee stand here instead. <laughs> From the boot sale. You okay? <laughs> so I have had a very successful trip to the boot sale. Did you spot anything in the footage? Don't think catch your eye. You could pause the video and make some guesses in the comments if you would like to, and then see everything that I picked up. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items. So we found some great stuff, and I'm going to get straight into it with. Something for you. Yeah, what do you think of this? This is for you. <laughs> this is a cactus shaped cat scratcher, which I'm hoping pumpkin and mittens will enjoy. I've given this a wash and a clean already and popped it out in the sunshine. So yeah, it's nice and clean and I've disinfected it too. So we're not going up there. We're not going by the candles. <laughs> Come down. Yes, this was one pound. Can you believe it? I think they're gonna hopefully absolutely love this. Although Mittens is now way more interested in the sideboard. Of course she is now that I've lit a candle there. What are you doing? Come down. You're not allowed near that, are you? They do know what candles are and they know not to go too close to them. But I do have to keep an eye on them. <laughs> Come on. She loves matchsticks, and I think that's what she's looking for. So if I light a candle with a matchstick, she wants the um, little wooden piece of the match. Don't you? You're like a little dog wanting a stick. <laughs> so yeah, this was one pound. I mean, I'm so pleased with that. What do you think? Are you gonna scratch this? Or are you gonna just ignore it and probably scratch the sofa instead? But I thought it would be worth giving this a go for one pound. You can't go wrong. I do always think when I see people selling these, are they selling them because their cats just haven't used them? But we shall see. We'll see if they enjoy it. So yeah, I thought that was fantastic. And I love the fact that it's cactus shaped as well. So next up, um, I'm going to try and go in order. I picked up these salt and pepper pots. They're in their box, as you can see, and they say sell and, oh, how do you say that? Poiva? I'm not sure. <laughs> and um, yeah, they look like really sweet little pepper and salt shakers as opposed to um, the grinders. And yeah, I thought, these would go quite nicely with the various crockery that I've got on the shelf in the kitchen. And this is what they look like. So yeah, these were one pound for the pair. I just thought they were very sweet with the kind of really simple print on them. I'm not sure um, where these have come from originally. I haven't looked them up yet. Very interested in the backdrop today, aren't you? Are you wondering where the matchstick is? Or is she admiring herself in the photograph that I have up there of them? <laughs> you need to be good up there, you can't go near the candle. You can just watch it. Okay, I have to keep an eye on her. So, next up, I found some bits from Fortnum's. I can't believe this. So first of all, I found this cookbook and they wanted, how much did they want for this? Eight pounds. I think she said 10 and I was humming and hawing, and then she said eight pounds for that, which I thought was a fantastic price. It's got 30 pounds on the back, and I had a quick look, and I think these are actually retailing 
at 35 now, I want to say. Yeah, it's the Fortnum and Mason cookbook by Tom Parker Bowles, and we have loads of different recipes in here. Oh, hello. Is that you, Mittens? <laughs> um, loads of fabulous recipes in here, and so I shall look forward to having a look through this and hopefully making some of them. And are you okay? <laughs> what are you up to? I think you should come down. We'll take her down because I don't want any of you worrying that she's next to the candle. And we don't want to scratch the new painting either, do we? Come on. <laughs> Off you go. Go and play with your new scratcher. So yes, um, they wanted eight pounds for this. And then I also spotted at the same stall, this candle, this White Company winter candle. And this has the price on it for £10. So I asked how much for the candle as well. And she wanted £3 for the candle, 8 for the book. So I had a tenner in my hand and I was like, will you take £10 for both? And she said, yep, absolutely. So these, oh, these two, I can <laughs> hold it the right way around, were £10 together, which is a fantastic price, isn't it? And yeah, I think this will look really nice, kind of just displayed in the kitchen. I love the colour of this the classic Fortnum's turquoise. So yeah, hello, she's back. Lots of you say it's always Pumpkin that wants to be in the videos. Not today. You're very curious today, Mittens. <laughs> and then from the same sellers, they actually put out a few bits a little bit later on. If you get some good stuff from sellers, it's worth kind of going back to their stall a little bit later to see if they put any more bits out from their car boot. And they also were selling this tea from Fortnum's. So this is the Royal Blend tea and they wanted five pounds for that. As you can see, it's all completely sealed and it is well within date. The um, best before on this is not until July 25. So these tins um, do last. So great if you're gonna give them as a gift as well because yeah, they've usually got a really long best before date on there. Next up, I found this little guy and the seller only wanted one pound for him. I think he's made out of um, plaster and he was a souvenir from Italy. And I just thought he would look quite cool kind of um, propped up on maybe like a little stack of books or just even in amongst the candles back here. I just thought that was really nice. So yeah, we have David here and it says made in Italy on the base here, a souvenir. So yeah, maybe you could go back there. It's quite nice with this um, porcelain candle holder back here, doesn't he? And also with this one, it goes quite nicely. So yeah, I'll probably pop him either back there on the mantelpiece a little bit later on. And then I got something with the roof garden in mind. I love things like this and I just thought it might work quite nicely out there. It's like a hanging tea light holder. Just getting out of the carrier bag. I always take loads of carrier bags to the boot sale so that I can wrap up fragile things in the carrier bags and then shove them into my backpack. And yeah, it's this kind of star shaped kind of stained glass tea light holder. It has got a tea light in there at the moment, a rather a dusty looking one. So I think this has been hung up somewhere for quite some time and got a bit dusty. So I'll probably pop that um, in the shower and give it a good rinse off. And then I like the way that this bit comes off to pop the tea light in. So you can see that kind of lifts up the metal there. And then that just slides out. So it's really nicely made, a lot of detail in this. And all of the um, glass pieces are kind of patterned. So yeah, I thought that might be quite nice hanging up outside. And that was two pounds for that. So yeah. I thought that was really nice. Something a little bit different, unusual. I feel like you'd see that at Camden Market or like Covent Garden in the kind of undercover bit. Hello, Mittens is back for another little browse. The kittens love a good sniff of everything that I bring home. So yeah, they're usually intrigued. Although Pumpkin is completely conked out at the moment. Having a good snooze. Oh, he's just looked up at me when I said his name. You know with cats, they know their names, don't they? 100% you just have to say their names and their little ears go and they'll give you like the slow blink. Yes, you know your name, don't you, Mittens? Mm-hmm. Right then, talking of Mittens, I couldn't resist these. Beautiful cards 
for Christmas time. These have a um, original price on them of six ninety five, and then someone picked them up in the sale for three pounds forty eight. I'm trying to think what shop this would be. I'm not sure. Is that M and S maybe? Who recognises that old sale sticker? I'm sure one of you will. But I just thought the design on these was so cute. So there's 12 luxury cards in here. I'm not sure if all 12 are in here. And the painting on the card is called Snow Kitten. And they've got really nice envelopes too. <laughs> How about that with the gold trim on it? And that is the um, name Woodmanstern, and yeah, just really nice painting of a kitten in the snow. It just says, with best wishes for Christmas and the new year. And yeah, just in case you're interested in who painted that, the image, there you go. So those were one pound, and yeah, I'm not sure if I've got all 12 in there, but there's quite a few, so I didn't bother counting them. How many have we got? I think they're all in there. I think all 12 are in there, so, or maybe like one's missing. So that was good for a quid, some nice Christmas cards. And then for Halloween, I picked up this sign for just 50p. It's a little wooden sign. They were selling a few Halloween decorations from Flying Tiger. So that's potentially where this would have come from originally. But yeah, 50p. I just love the spooky bat design. It just says Happy Halloween on there. And it's plain on the other side. So you could potentially write your own message on here if you wanted to get some chalk out or some white paint and jazz that up. But yeah, I like his little spooky smile. <laughs> and then one more thing to show you. I picked up another of these lanterns. I couldn't resist this one. The seller wanted 15 pounds for this and it's another beautiful lamp. This one's on quite a long chain. So stay tuned and you'll find out what I do with this one. But yeah, it's all wired. It has the beautiful beveled glass on it. It's even got the light bulb in there. So yeah, 15 pounds for that. And it's a bit longer and narrower than the previous ones that I bought. But yeah, I just thought that was an absolute steal. Such a lovely piece. 15 quid had to come home with me. And that is all the bits that I got from the car boot sale today. So I hope you enjoyed looking at those with me and let me know in the comments which item was your favorite or which you think the best bargain was and did you spot anything in the footage that caught your eye that I didn't pick up that you thought maybe I should have got or you would have liked to get yourself let me know I would love to hear I hope you're having a lovely morning if you're watching this on Sunday morning if you're off work I hope you're having a nice relaxed time whatever it is that you're doing I know that lots of you do like to tune in on a Sunday morning with your coffee so if that is you I hope you are thoroughly enjoying it or whatever time it is that you're managing to watch. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're having a lovely day or evening, whatever time it is where you are. And yeah, I'll be back soon with another video for you. So do subscribe if you haven't done so already, so you don't miss it. And don't forget, you can always catch me over on Instagram and TikTok to see what I'm up to over there. And yeah, that's it. Do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.